Welcome back to a video legends and in this one we're trying some new hard body lures on Brim and it actually turned out to be pretty successful. It's something really new to me so I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Yo! First fish on the Kadachi. Just casting it along the stair. It's a good fish I reckon. Oh. There we go. What is it? It's fighting very weird. Did you just do the, the drag drag? Yeah. Drag drag pause. Bang. It's a slob of a fish. Or foul hooks. No, he's not foul hooked, mate. He's good golf that. That's in his golf. There you go. <laughs> well, he's not huge, but. There you go, mate. There you go. First ever fish on the Kadachi. Little Brimbo. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what, third cast. How sick does that lure look? Pinned him on, didn't even pin him in his mouth. All right, buddy. Thanks for the fight. <laughs> First fish. You stoked. There we go. First time ever using a hard body for brim. And he smacked it. Little Kadachi 40 SF. So that's how I'm working it. It's pretty much. So letting that wind carry it as far out as I can. And then get in contact with the line. And I just give it two drags like that, let it pause. And then most of the time, the fish will take it on the pause. So two drags, pause. And then on the pause of ruin, you really want to feel for the bites. And then drag, pause. And do that all the way up until you get to the stairs. And hopefully you get a hit. Casting around structure as well is going to help. So just peg that as far as we can. See if we can get a live hook up for the boys. Drag, drag, give it a pause. Drag, drag, pause. You can mix it up as well, do some faster twitches, pause, do a bit of a slow wind. But I found so far, it's the drags and the pause that are doing the trick. And we'll just keep repeating that until we get another hook up. How sick does this look though? That's awesome. Pretty much my first time using hard bodies for brim. So I sort of know what I'm doing, but sort of don't at the same time. So I guess we get to learn together today. See what works, see what doesn't. But yeah, the only hookup I've had is just two drags like that, and then pause. And then a couple drags. Pause. What we're we gonna do actually? Peg it right in between these two. Like that. And slowly work that back so it's a bit of an overcast day today which means it will be a little bit harder for those brim to see us which means hopefully catch a few more fish Yep, fish on. Oh, got off. Oh, there you go. I called it too. We're literally right against the structure at the moment. Oh, dropped him. He was a good fish too. He literally took it right next to that little pontoon there, which is what Brim will do. They'll sit under that structure and they'll just pounce on anything that gets in their way pretty much. He took that on the pause too, so. Keep note of that. Yeah, someone's called a squid. A bit of squid ink there. Big line here too. Sort of fresh too. It's the honey hole for squid. Down here. If we can reach it. 
here. Not what I thought I'd catch you. <laughs> Someone's fire extinguisher's gone off. So uh, what we'll do, that's full. There you go, he's excellent. Just as I had a hit. There you go, second fish of the day. <laughs> About the same size as my first one. Yeah. First mission on the hard bodies. Oh, he's not bad fish. Not bad. I'm liking these more than the plackies. Oh, yeah. More fun to work. Off he goes. Yeah, three fish landed. That's pretty good, hey? Yeah. Well, for a first time using hard bodies. How good's the conditions, mate? Oh, mate, mint. <laughs> mint. Absolute mint. Not a breath of wind or rain. <laughs> oh, the wind's not here, it's just the fucking rain yeah. now. Just the water's doing the weird thing at the moment. A lot of ripples on the water. Come on from up there. Stunning conditions. Mate, there's not a, not a drop of rain out here. No. Nah. Clear, clear as day, mate. Picked a beautiful day. Picked a wonderful day. To nah, keeping the reel nice and dry. How good's that? Mate, the wind's pretty much died off though, to be fair. It has, hey. It's just the, the rain. She's howling down to how the rain. Oh boy. No oh, fish on. Just moved to the other side of the structure. And got a little fish here. I don't think he's huge. Got the drag set sort of light. It's not bad though. On the paws. He's alright. We'll beat him I reckon. He's not a bad one actually. Thought he was a bit smaller than that. Yeah, on the paws, he just smacked it. There we go, the Kadachi again. Doing really well. That's a nice little broom. We'll take that. Yep, no, he's good. There you go, off he goes. Off he goes to swim another day. That's the second fish. Are you doing some fish? Yeah, mate. How you going? That's all right. What you going for? Oh, some oh yeah. It's our first That's time right. at Westlake, so. Oh, first time. It's a good spot. Yeah. Here. Seems to be good today, for sure. Oh. You have a good time, mate. Yeah, cheers. Nice to meet you. Yeah. See ya. Not live hookup, but... Pretty close. Oh, no, you got off. I just oh. saw him swim off. Yeah, <laughs> we just had one then. He wasn't big. Damn it. Second fish I've lost. There we go, Zach's on another one. That's three fish each now. Very good session from a no, hard... No, this is my fourth. Come on, mate, you can do it. There he goes. Oh, come on again. Oh, here's two. <laughs> is that another baby? Yeah, the Kadachi. Well, he's better than the last. Yeah. Bit he's of an upgrade. Everywhere. And off he goes. Bang. So I just casted it out as we're walking back to the car. Like, oh, I'm just going to drag this along to the car. <laughs> and a broom just smacked it. That is crazy. Look how far out it is. <laughs> Look how far I am from the bloody shore. That is nuts, dude. Look at that. He's not a big one, but how's that? You always get them when you don't try for them. <laughs> that is crazy. We'll give him a bit of a hold up. There we go. Nice little brim. I was just walking along there, dragging the lure across the beach. And this guy smacked it. That is dope. Hey, he's tiny. <laughs> he's tiny. All right, son. Thanks for playing game. Don't worry, 
Off he goes. Cruising the shores. Right hit. First snag of the day. That one, mate. Mate, I'm going in if uh, <laughs> I don't get this. I should be able to get it. Oh no, I'm going in, I reckon. Shit. So I really don't want to. Roll your slit shoes up, mate. It's not too bad. Where'd the line go? Shit, it's cold in here. <laughs> yep. Yes, got it. All the way down there. Your wife's going swimming. Yeah, hang on. This jacket's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving without it. There you go, in the drink. Here we go, this is what we do for Kadachi lures. <laughs> Can you get in there? Got heads on it. Beautiful weather to go for a swim. And he's got the lure back. Let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Bit of a mayhem at the moment. Got the... far out. That was very cold. And I reckon that's time to pull the pin on that. Pull the pin on the mission. Yeah, a bit too cold out here now. And I hope you enjoyed trying this little new lure out for the first time. And I'd say that's a success. Three fish, first session. So yeah, quite happy with that. Welcome back to day two. So we headed out a couple of days ago, which was the footage you just saw then. And today, we're out here again, and I'm trying out a new little lure. So we got the, well it's the same lure as the last one, but different color. So we got the blood worm there. And we're just gonna see how that goes today. Um, and I'm also gonna be trying some new techniques. So. I've been on YouTube pretty much for the last two days watching all the pros and how they go about it so yeah it was pretty different from my technique I was using last time so I'm going to put those techniques to the test today and hopefully get onto a few more the conditions are pretty good uh, so we'll see how we go hopefully we can get a few uh, I've caught a few fish in this little zone before so we'll get this little guy off the rod here I'll loosen up our drag a little bit. It's better. And we'll give this a good old whip. And I want to try, so first technique I'm trying is nice and aggressive to start off with. Then pretty much pause it. And then you start your slow wind. Little twitches and pauses. And yeah, I saw a lot of people catching a lot of fish doing that so we'll see how we go quite shallow here so a diving lure probably isn't the best way to go about it here but we'll give it a few casts so you want it nice and fast and then literally full pause and then just want to work it slowly Nothing. We'll probably head to a bit deeper zone. Let's see what we can get down there. It's going to be our first cast around some sort of structure. Get that out there. And so a lot of them just doing a slow wind. So we're going to give that a go. Actually, not much to this. Just nice steady wind. Have a couple of twitches. So I've been fishing for about half an hour now. And I've probably had about four brim, literally like almost swipe it and follow it and follow it up right to my feet. And then they just get spooked obviously because they see me. So it's proving to be a pretty tough day, I think. Nice. First fish went back to the old ways and did my little long twitch and pause. And that's actually a Pretty nice brim. Let's get him up. First fish of the day. Not a bad one at all. Pinned him on the side of the cheek. Get him up. 
that's a solid fish to start the day let's get a hold up there we go guys first brim on the kadachi as well new color the bloodworm color today it's actually quite a nice little brim that's awesome we'll get him back see you mate it's awesome just started fishing the zone swapped the zone because the other one was obviously pretty quiet yeah that was probably fourth cast so very happy with that we're on the board all right we're going to literally cast in that exact same spot as before so yeah after all these techniques i've tried today i've tried the slow wind i've tried the the constant wind pretty like a faster sort of wind i've done the constant wind pause i've done the winding and twitching none of that seems to work and then came here and then this is literally the technique i was using last time just two twitches or sort of drags and then let it pause and that's when the the fish have been striking on that little pause so yeah pretty happy with that we'll stick to this technique i reckon i really want to get a live hook up for you guys <laughs> It's quite hard with brim because it's so many casting and you just don't know when you're going to hook up really so just trying to save some memory and battery on the gopro but at the same time it'd be nice to get a life hook up all right so we're going to fish this new little zone same system but a bit more sand flatty and a little bit of a drop off here and we're going to work that same technique see if we can pick up a brim yep there we go <laughs> called it Whoa. the ground looked really good here ah, beautiful he's only small but we'll take that it's been a pretty slow day there we go so you can see the the sand flats here and then it drops off and that's where the brim will sit and as long as you work your lure in that little that little zone you're more often than not going to catch a fish and there we go that's the end result finally got a live hook up for you guys yeah absolutely stoked with that on the little daiwa kadachi 40sf in the bloodworm color super happy all right buddy we'll send you back make sure you always bring plies when you do go fishing especially with trebles because last thing you want first of all is not getting the hook out quick enough and second thing is your finger getting a treble stuck in so he's gonna get a nice healthy release and off he goes back into the drop off <laughs> let's go very happy with that that's two fish today it's been pretty slow compared to the other day because it can be really tough sometimes so we got the two on the board now we're just trying to add to that bag see if we can get that PB fish So that lure's right in the drop-off zone now. So I like to just give it a few quick winds to start with. Just try and get the fish's attention. And then I do slow winds. I can already see that's actually quite shallow up there. So we probably won't get any hits. We're just dragging it along the bottom at this stage. This is the zone. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but you got a nice shallow little sandbar there, and then it just pretty much drops off. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new about brim fishing. I certainly had fun. We're going to pull the pin on the mission now because it's getting a little bit cold and I've got to be somewhere else. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget that the squid jigs are still in stock on the online shop. 
So if you guys want to support the channel and get yourself a weapon of a squid jig, head over to the online shop and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs>